Here are some of the best React.js resources that web developers can use for their next project. First is the React.js website, which in itself is one of the most useful resources if you're learning React.js from scratch. Its documentation is one of the best I've ever seen, and it's actually how I learned React myself. Then there's Reactiflux, which is basically a community of over 170,000 React.js developers, React Native developers, Redux, Jest, Relay, GraphQL, TypeScript, you name it, they're all there. These are people that are Facebook engineers and other developers in large communities that hold Q&As and they have a section here dedicated to learning as well. And this is a great resource and community to be a part of. There is a really cool GitHub repository called Awesome React, which is a compilation of pretty much everything that will be in this video, plus much, much more, which includes things like tutorials and developer tools and information about how React works with conferences and much, much more. It's one that I recommend checking out if you're just interested or looking for something specific in React because it pretty much has everything. There is another GitHub repository out there which is more specific for React components themselves called Awesome React Components. And this one is essentially a compilation of all the different types of UI elements that you might be using for a website, such as tables or overlays or tooltips. And all of this comes in with example components that you can start using immediately. Like for example, if you're doing a data grid or a spreadsheet, here are all the components ready to go with some of the features and functionalities of how you can hook them in. And this makes life a lot easier if you're trying to implement certain tools or features into your app. Hero35 is another great website for educational content. And while they do all sorts of languages and frameworks, their React section is especially great because React does a lot of conferences on things like CSS in JS or state management with React hooks. And this basically gives you a full video from some of the best professionals on those subjects talking about how some of these concepts work. Now let's move on to some UI libraries for React. One of the most popular is MUI or Material UI, which is a React component library for using the Material UI designs from Google. Now they've got a compilation of assets ready to go with components that work quite effectively. They're up to version five now and their documentation is quite amazing, especially with the examples that you can use where you can import them straight into your app with all the actual props that you can utilize with explanations of how they work with a demo as well for you to really test out before you're ready to use one of their components. Now, I personally have used this in quite a lot of projects and highly recommend people try this out. And the biggest competitor to MUI has always been Bootstrap, which is one that I've also used a lot in the past. The React Bootstrap library is one that is really easy to get up and running with, and they have all the components ready for you to use similar to Material UI. The benefits here are that if you're used to the bootstrap system, it's really easy to get accustomed to how this library works and you can immediately import it into your project and continue to use bootstrap just like you always have. If you're willing to try something new out and you need something that is highly compatible, that even works with Internet Explorer and you don't need something that is mobile first, try out Blueprint. Blueprint is made specifically for data applications, probably more for the desktop, more for complex organizations of data and interfaces. So if you have a look at some of their examples for their content, you can see that it's more created for those kinds of desktops where you do a lot of clicking and dragging and what's not. Now, I think this could be useful if you're building maybe an application in Electron JS. So check that out maybe and have a test to see what you guys think. And if any of you have used Blueprint, let me know as well, because it's one that I want to try out in the future myself. Next up, we have Ant Design, which is one of the most popular React UI systems to use, which also works on an international basis meaning that it doesn't matter what language you're using, it's going to be able to adapt and work with that. It comes with a great lot of design values and guidelines, which will help you create a better design overall, which is really cool. And it also works with Angular and Vue. I quite like their components guide here in their documentation, where they've got nice visual representations of all their content and how they can be used, as well as examples where you get to see all the code for that. 
Chakra UI is a more simpler and modular component-based UI system for React. It works by creating an application that works with speed, but less code. If you have a look at their documentation, you can see some examples of them in practice. But one of the benefits that you get with Chakra UI is that it follows the WAI-ARIA standards. This also comes out of the box with proper attributes as well as keyboard interactions, which makes it simple to create some good designs that work accordingly to those standards. Their documentation is very good. It actually reminds me quite a lot of Tailwind CSS. And in terms of integrating the project and using some of the components, it's straight to the point. We can take a look at what some of the buttons and UI looks like, but in terms of its structure and how to use it, it reminds me a little bit of Bootstrap as well, in terms of the sizing and how you can create different components. Semantic UI uses human-friendly HTML for its development framework. It's a UI kit that allows you to work with React or Angular or Mentor, but it also works with jQuery functionality. The CSS syntax is also quite friendly and easy to use. It also is quite intuitive to use with JavaScript or jQuery. Not that we'll be using that, but in terms of using it with React, it's quite simple to use. There are lots of options here for theming. So if you want your website to look like one of your favorite sites like Bootstrap or GitHub or maybe say Amazon, you can do that quite quickly. The default theme looks quite professional and simple to use. So whether you're building an application or just using it for a website UI, it will look good. The documentation is also great. We have lots of examples and code so you can understand exactly how it works. Next, we have Next.js which is an open source development framework built on top of Node.js that enables React-based web applications and functionalities such as server-side rendering and generating static websites. Next.js is widely used by some of the biggest and most popular companies all over the world, like Netflix, Uber, Starbucks, and Twitch. Its documentation is easy to follow, and if you're looking to get a website up and running, I definitely recommend trying this one out. There is also Gatsby, which is an open source framework that combines the functionality of React with GraphQL and Webpack into a single tool for building static websites and apps. It has a strong focus on performance, with some really impressive out-of-the-box features, such as code splitting, as well as a friendly developer experience. The way it's built makes it easy to integrate with your favorite CMS, such as WordPress or Drupal or Shopify. These are then created in React with generated pages that can be deployed on the cloud, even automated, with lots of great plugins that you can use as well. And just like the other examples, the documentation is clear and easy to use. And I always think that documentation is one of the most important things for good user experience for developers. React Admin is a React framework for business to business applications with a strong focus on building data-driven applications that work on any browser using REST and GraphQL APIs. It's used by big names such as NVIDIA and Ford and Intel. It has great features like undo or optimistic rendering and data validation, which can come in handy when you're working with things like OpenAI or JSON objects or even GraphQL. It's easy to customize and theme, and it works with things like React Router as well as Redux and React Final Form. The admin interface in practice looks quite effective and gets the job done quite nicely, especially for the data grids which just seem to work properly and if I was trying to design this it just wouldn't work the same way. Next we have Blitz, which is actually inspired by Ruby on Rails. It's built on top of Next.js and features a zero API data layer abstraction that eliminates the need for REST or GraphQL. It also provides helpful defaults for conventions such as routing and file structures and authentication. If you've been using React for as long as I have, you've probably come across React Select. This is one of the most powerful multi-select tools with autocomplete, async, as well as lots of support. It's even being funded now by large groups like Atlassian because it's just been such a practical and useful tool that it deserves that sort of support. There is also React Spring, which is a spring physics-based animation library. This library does a modern approach to animation, which inherits animation interpolation and performance from things like React Motion, which is easy to use. Having a look at their documentation showcases some examples of it in use, and it's quite effective. I actually prefer it over traditional CSS animations of JavaScript animations just because of that spring effect, which really makes it look lifelike. 
And while I'd love to have this video go for an hour or longer, I'm not going to be able to get through all of them. There is an article by Theme Selection which has compiled all of these together, which I'll add in the description below for you guys to check out. Otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit like and subscribe and I'll make many more.